Halloween is here. I'm so excited. We are doing our first Halloween hunting video of the season. We're starting off at Home Goods. If you like these kind of videos or if you like Halloween content, DIYs, or lifestyle, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified every single time I post a new video. I am on the West Coast and I know that everybody on the East Coast is sharing all of their finds. It's so exciting. But I just wanted to start to share everything that we have going on over here. We have a lot of repeats this year, I noticed. Here are just some quick clips of things that I saw that they were stocking. Um, there wasn't too much out. I mean, I know it looks like more than most, but again, there's a lot of repeats this year. So there's very little new items that are out. I know that this Jack Skellington candy dish is new. I was trying to figure out how much this was and I just had to make a new video. This was $20 plus tax. They also have these really cute spider things going on. Some Halloween plates. There's also a bunch of different styles as well, similar to what they had in previous years too. I think that these will be pretty popular. Normally they are. These pillows are really cute. I don't, I don't know why, but like the color is a little off to me. I don't know. Is it like kind of like a gray or like a cream color? Anyway, they had a bunch of pillows ranging in price from $16.99 to $24.99, things like that. This beaded pillow is really cute, it's $20. And here is like one with one of those sayings, bad witch energy. And then we also have the other pillows here, the checkered ones that I was showing earlier, so cute. There are two colors. And then we have this cat skeleton pillow. There's also a dog one, like a wiener dog one that I had seen online. And then I think that these are some of the newer, not newer, but like some of the more fun items that people, that I think people will appreciate. There's like the, the busts and then the plates. The plate that was similar to the one, or is the one that is from previous years. And then just some more items here and there. I was really excited. So this was kind of, I think sometime in the afternoon. I know that some people say that you should go there in the morning. While I agree, some stores don't always do that to help like, um, you know get rid of crowds and stuff like that because sometimes it'll you know cause like fights and things like that and i'm sure that they don't want those in the store but yeah anyway so just a bunch of fun things some blankets i had seen i know there aren't any of the exciting ones that people have been finding they also had some table runners here i thought there were some shower curtains there are but they're not like spider or not spider not halloween theme they're just like regular shower curtains and you'll see me trying to like rustle through them but those are the table runners that blanket this one right here is so cute i was debating on getting it but it really isn't like my style so i ended up not i really like the sweater weather kind of vibes also they feel nice but i feel like you would get really hot in it so i think it would be more of like a fall winter kind of blanket you know and then here are the shower curtains i was talking about earlier but yeah let me know in the comments below if there is Halloween in your area and if you've been finding things that are new and exciting that you want to share because I feel like there are so many repeats this year and I don't know, like I'm very happy, like my wallet is very happy for me because I'm saving money but at the same time I'm like, I want to see what's out there and then I just saw that Joann's had this really cute ghost mug that I totally missed out on for whatever reason I don't know how I like missed out on those. Oh, and I'm showing these plates again, I think because I didn't remember if I had filmed them previously. But anyway, I was really excited to pick up these ghosts right here. I have a set for myself and one for my friend. They're so cute. I love them. They light up. I think they were $14.99 and there's a brand on the tag there. But I think it's so cute. It's like a little ghost family. And I'm going to try and avoid getting um, doubles like how I usually do this year. I'm going to try and stick to just like one and like that's it. But yeah, next up, we have these really cute placemats from Joanna Parker. I don't remember seeing these last year. And if they did come out, I might have missed them. But yeah, I really, really like these. They're so cute. Um, the orange isn't really my color, but maybe like in the kitchen or something like that. But Usually I go for like a black and white aesthetic, but I think I might put a pop of color in this year. We'll see. You guys know that I do have like a pink display as well. I know there's so much controversy or not controversy, but distaste for people who do the pink Halloween theme. That's okay. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I like it. So I am going to continue to share it. And here I am struggling to freaking find some bowls and ended up doing another video clip instead. But yeah, here's a bowl that matches those plates. I feel like every year people love those and try to collect them. And right now is the best time to get them. Oh, and while I was waiting at Home Goods for my friend, I just want to say this whole section that I shared in the beginning and that I'm sharing again right now, 
I totally missed this section because I was so focused. Like, I had walked right past it because you guys know those, like, food stools that are there. So there was one that was, like, a block of cheese, and I didn't know that that was coming out. And I was like, what the heck? And so when I saw my friend, she was like, oh, did you see this? And I look, and I was like, what? No, that's crazy. I didn't see that because I was so focused on the block of cheese. I thought that was really funny. Anyway, so those cakes in the background so cute but anyway we're moving to at home i know there have been a ton of videos about this but my at home finally put out a ton of halloween here are those vultures or vultures that are holding the lantern it's similar to the raven one that everybody absolutely loved there is so much stuff for everybody here and if you see something that isn't really like a color that you like or anything like that feel free to like paint it to whatever color you desire i know that that's one thing that people don't really like this year is that there's a bunch of different colors that no one's really liking. Anyway, so here we are at Marshall's. This Marshall's didn't put out more. I went again today and then they ended up putting a few things that I don't think that I filmed, but that's okay. I'll post it in another video. I'm going to try and post these as much as I can. But yeah, here's a pink collection. It's so cute. Again, like if you don't like the colors, that's all good. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. You can also repaint it kind of like how I repaint things and stuff like that. Here's a Frankenstein head bust. This cloche thing here. Um, the ghost is interesting. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's still a really cute item if that's your theme. This pumpkin is adorable and a bunch of other things. And then I believe after this clip we are going to be going over to burlington deals because i found some really cute mugs after oh i guess we have these pillows you guys know that they have the ghost pillows of these as well but anyway so off to burlington we go so they have adorable halloween mugs that go for 3.99 and up there are so many different styles and if you didn't know they do have a really fun halloween collection anyway so this video is coming to a close i am yapping my mouth off so Please make sure you subscribe if you like this kind of content. I will be posting weekly, probably multiple times a week, I'm hoping. But yeah, so Halloween season is here. The time is here. I'm so excited to see everybody's videos, content, everything on Instagram and TikTok here on YouTube. But anyway, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you in the next one.